Okay, I got a meal prep video for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Never really meal prepped uh, on the channel, but I'm stoked for it. First, we're gonna have like a cutting meal and then we'll have two meals where you can kind of like make it cutting or bulking. See how many vegetables you want versus, uh, versus the type of grain of your choice. All right, so I how are you? My, I washed my hands, most important thing. And now uh, I have my pan on medium high heat. And now season your meat. I know it's crazy. Uh, someone like me is seasoning chicken. Kind of wild, huh? So, the salt, pepper. Because there's a sauce for this one, I don't want to make it too overpowering. And ginger. Gingers have souls. All right. So now this, my little friend, my little chickpea will be making and having a date with a saucepan. All right, so pan is on medium, medium high heat and zero calorie spray, zero, 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 zero. And seasoned chicken right here. We're just gonna dunk this baby. In like so. Alright. Now while he is getting well acquainted with the stove top, I'm going to crack open my veggie table. What I really want to do at the beginning is just crisp up both sides. Uh, which, he already looks pretty crispy on this side. So I'm going to flip him. Cover him up. Like that, just for a second. Already have this open, all my vegetables, and they're all about to make sweet, tender stir fry love all night long. Stir fries are really easy because you just kind of throw a bunch of crap in there. It's like uh, making a chili almost because you're just kind of like cooking your meat and then you just throw everything in there. So it's pretty chill if you ask me. I like covering the lid, I feel like it helps cook the inside as well. Like, obviously, the outside's being cooked, but I think it helps like, it's like baking it while you're having it on the stove top. And I don't know, I've always found it to make it nice and moist. I like it moist. Take my veggie tables, cause this guy is already getting cooked on the other side. And just throw everything on there. They're gonna make sweet love. Did you guys remember I heard meal time that one guy always said, oh, are they crazy, a sounds. Freaking banter here. I remember those guys back in the day, those guys were legends. Having fun in there, this sauce is like 100 calories, and this is a cutting meal. If you really want to make it low calorie, just use Coco Aminos. Uh, that's what I was planning on doing originally, but this already came with the sauce, and I just felt like it was kind of wasteful to not use the sauce they provided. So now that the sauce is in there, I'm actually going to salt the vegetables up a little bit. It's a, it's a garlic ginger, like soy sauce. So all that pepper up on there. Just a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt. So I started this whole process at 4.05 and it is 4.14. So this just proves that like, you know, it's, you don't need to reinvent the wheel when meal prepping. Like obviously you can make this on a larger batch. Like I was just doing it cause I don't want to be wasteful cause I'm making three meals today and I want to throw away food and I have no friends. So turn that off the skillet and it's done. I literally just made one meal in 10 minutes. Like it's not that hard. High in protein, low carb, basically like no fat, it's just vegetables and chicken. I'll put the macros on the screen for those who actually care. So I don't have the sexiest looking uh, Tupperware. It doesn't take tons of effort. Like it's, that's why I meal prep. It's not cause like I care, or obviously I care about what I eat, but like, let's see. That's a little hot. Oh, where my phalange? There's the money shot. So, if you guys wanted to make this more calorific, obviously just add rice. I mean, like, if you're ever make, I like to think of like food from like cultures and stuff like that. Like, okay, it's an Asian style meal. Meal, like obviously you'd add a rice to this or like some type of like Asian noodle. I like to add stuff that kind of like fits the culture uh, if I can help it. So yeah, just like if you were trying like on this on a bulk, like it's this is the cut meal, but 
If you want rice, add rice. Like, it ain't that deep, bro. All right. Now on to two pieces of chicken. I have them on here because they're gonna be seasoned differently, but I'll cook them in the pan because nothing else is going in the fun chamber with them. So, first one, it's gonna be really easy. You can just get pre-bought seasonings. This one will be obviously Greek chicken, a Greek style chicken. It's a all-purpose Greek seasoning. Like I do the same thing with Mexican food. Uh, I'll have like uh, one of those old El Paso like pre-seasoning kits. This makes it really easy to not make your uh, stuff taste bad. Like if you don't know how to season stuff, like uh, many people like myself, if you catch my drift, then you uh, just buy the pre-seasoning kits. There's no excuse. Rub a dub dub. Let's eat some grub. Yay, God. If you guys catch that quote, I'd be absolutely astonished. Of Latoya Jackson. Thanks. Um, rub a dub dub. Thanks for the grub. Yay, God. How very inappropriate. Thank you. This is just going to be like a hodgepodge. Like, this is like, you don't really know what's going on. Always start with some salt. Salt both sides. This is kind of unsanitary. Switch sides. Be conscious of food safety, please. After I took my nutrition class, I realized it's just something that like we're all pretty bad at. So I'm gonna start with this uh, marijuana maraham or whatever. Here, give it a smell. So it's it's pretty good. It's I don't know, it's Mediterranean AF, bro. So throw that on there. Uh, get some suburban weed. When I'm doing a lot of Mediterranean dishes, I'll just throw a bunch of like this is thyme. Uh, I'll just throw a bunch of stuff on there. Funny th thing about thyme, I was actually. Uh, I had a spelling bee when I was in second grade, and uh, the guy asked him to spell time, and he spelled it T-I-M-E, and he lost the spelling bee that way, and he was pissed. And I didn't even know that was a thing, so that was pretty freaking funny. Uh, you know, I feel like you always have that basil on, like, Italian stuff, and then some s s nice wisdom to top it all off. Just throw that in there. Give it all a little massage. Massage your breasts. They they love it. If you want to put black pepper on there, by all means. But, I mean, I just blasted that thing with five other different types of seasoning plus salt. Uncutting the white meat. Here's the pre-money shot. Italiano. And get them to the Greek. Don't be afraid of salt. One of my friends was talking about she don't want to have salt on her meals because it'll make her gain weight. That's retention of water rate. Salt is good for you. Most people don't need extra salt, but those, but most people are go, one going to the gym, two working out, and three are cooking for themselves. Like, yeah, if you go to McDonald's, that thing's loaded up with salt. But like, if you're at home, if you don't add salt to something, it has zero salt. So salt your shit. Uh, we're gonna start with the Italiano. Italiano, hey mambo, a oh, mambo Italiano, hey mambo, a oh, mambo Italiano. Actually, now we'll add, we'll add his Greek friend. Right there as well. Woo and then we'll just let those guys chill out for a second. So, Italian and Greek. See, look at those sear marks. That's what you want to see. You want to get those sear marks on there. That's like, if I do want to my own horn, toot toot. That's how you want that chicken to look. It's like a nice crisp brown on one side. Slap that biatch on the other side, and I like having this on there because it kind of just bakes that that middle, makes it nice and warm, you know. Like if you're going to go like, like that. I have my pasta in over here now. So on the Greek side of things, we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. And we're trying to let those guys hang out. They're trying to bake in there. They're going to get baked together like some good bros do. This is in a nice little hot tub. They're chilling out right there. Get that steam. Woo! Steam! Steam! Again, right here. That's my Italian chicken. This is my Greek chicken. So for my Italian chicken, on top of the pasta I'll be having, obviously you can do rice or pasta. I wanted to keep it the same for both dishes, so I'm making pasta and just putting in both. Uh, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could probably put rice. That's probably more accurate for the... Uh, Greek dish, but, um, you know, it, it, it is what it is. I'm bulking now, so even if you're bulking, still eat your vegetables. Don't be f 
fat ass. And then for the Greek dish, I'm adding artichokes. It's like pre-containered. This, the whole thing is 80 calories. So sometimes I'll season my pasta, sometimes I won't. Like, that's something I'm not too fussed about, to be honest. Uh, usually I'll, like, if I'm trying to keep it lower calorie, um, or I just don't really want sauce, I'll just do, like, usually, like, lemon, maybe some garlic, uh, maybe just, like, some other herbs if I really want to. But the peas and everything, I'm just gonna do, like, I'm just gonna do lemon and probably call it a day, to be honest. That whole thing, I start at 404, it's 443. I cooked three different dishes, and honestly, if I had the pasta going, I would have been done probably five minutes ago. So, I mean, it just shows uh, meal prepping is useful for everybody, you know, like, um, it's not even like a thing with that, like, I like doing because, like, it's easier to stay on top of your diet. It's like, it's just easier to, for food, like, in that first meal, it took me 10 minutes, like, it would take me, it takes me longer to drive to Chipotle, get my food and come back, not to mention like it's more economic. Like there's so many reasons why food prepping like ahead of time is just worthwhile. Like particularly if like you care about your health, it's way easier to control what goes into your body if you already have it cooked during the week. During the week when you're at work, like it's so much easier to go stick something in the microwave for one minute than it is to like cook something when you come home from dinner, like, or <laughs> come home from dinner, ooh, ooh, come home from <laughs> work and make dinner, like, at least being a young kid, young guy, young bachelor, lives on Miami Beach. I just don't really get the point to not meal prep. Like, it's, it's takes some time on Sunday. I don't know, I enjoy meal prepping, and I think it's a great use of your time. Anyway, I also wanted to do chicken breast to show you guys that even if it's the same boring crap, like, you can switch it up, and it's still enjoyable. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, this crazy elaborate thing like I like chicken breast so I just cooked it three different ways to show you guys like hey if you like something you can just switch it up really easily like I like eating chicken breast like I like eating fish as you guys know like I love fish but I say that for like the weekends there's so many things to, like switch up like even if you just wanted to keep it the same meats and stuff like that like you can stick to the same basic meats and vegetables and stuff and still have a healthy and enjoyable diet, you know? Seasoning goes a long way and that's something I've learned uh, through, like when the, once I was at college, I was still buying like cheap meat, like frozen chicken breast or just chicken breast and like stuff that's not too crazy expensive. And if you season it up different ways, it tastes a lot different, well, let me tell you. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm rambling on, I've been talking for like five minutes now, but I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, meal prep video, probably gonna do more, um, but as a reminder, you know, you can make all these cutting or bulking. It just depends on how many vegetables you want to add and how much like pasta or rice you want to add. So you can move it around however it fits your fitness needs. So hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Peace.